voice keeps on calling me down the road. That's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. So if you want to join me for a while, just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Two are really starting to bug me. They're bugging everybody. So what if they're favored to win? We'll see tomorrow when it really counts. Hey, magic lady, it's okay. Whoa, it's hey, whoa, whoa, hey, wait. You got it, you got it. Magic, magic, whoa, hang on now. Oh. Hey, come on, come I guess on, somebody magic. forgot to put some glue on that saddle. Settle Will down. you give me a break, you creeps? Come on, I got you. What are you, I hard up you. for entertainment? <laughs> All right. Everything's okay. Hey, fella, where did you come from? Thanks. It's nice to have someone on my side. I hope you're all right. Here, let me help you. Thanks. <laughs> I hear a gentleman, unlike some. How is he, Joe? Poor baby. Oh, he's fine. He's just fine. Now, you go ahead and wash up, and, and I'll get Jimmy to cool him up. Thanks. Hey, you want to be my escort? I could use the protection. You ought to allow a man that opportunity, Miss Peters. You have the advantage of me, sir. You know my name, and I don't know yours. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm James Curry. And I just found out I'm going to be mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> And the fact is, I'm interested in doing an article and a photo spread on you for Racing Monthly magazine. On me? Well, you're the first female jockey to enter the Silver Stakes, and for me, well, getting that story would mean a lot to my career. All right. It's a deal. Great. Uh, just let me wash up first. Tell you what, I'll meet you over by the stables. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Well, Sally. I can see why you're the favorite in the race tomorrow. I appreciate you sticking around, fella. I need all the support I can get. Mind you, things may be looking up. That magazine fellow is really neat. time you guys showed up. Don't sweat it. Nothing happens till it gets dark anyway. Are you sure we're close enough to the stables? Yeah, we're fine. Did you get the pictures yet? Not yet. Don't worry, she's eating out of my palm. Sure, man. You always get the easy work. Let's get the trailer ready, make it look good. We gotta move quick. You just take care of the lady. I'll take care of the animals. Okay, you guys, I'll see you later. Make yourself scarce. Just don't get too chummy with the lady. You don't want your personal feelings getting in the way of business.
So you had your dreams fulfilled. Chance to race in the silver stakes. Favorite to finish in the money. <laughs> Must be very exciting. Magic Man deserves the credit. He's so beautiful. Aren't you, baby? Huh? Let's get a couple of beautiful pictures of that beautiful animal. OK. You don't mind, do you, Joe? No, no, that's fine, as long as the camera doesn't spook the champ. We don't want to get him excited. Okay. I'm going to check on the feet. OK, thanks. OK. Oh, a couple of test shots. Why are you using an instant? I just want to make sure you're uh, happy with my approach. I'm extremely happy with your approach. Good. OK, that's really nice. Hold it. Good. OK, now look up to the left into the light there. That's, that's beautiful. Or right like that. Don't move. Good. How do you like me so far? Oh, that's really nice. I think I'll just take one more while we're down here. Let's stay right there. Don't move. Good. OK, that's fine. That's great. You know, I think I'll take the cover portrait tomorrow when you're in the winter circle with all the wreaths and all the flowers, you know? I like a man who thinks positive. Get out of here! Go on! Ah. I don't know. I gotta get in touch with my editor. Too bad we're just getting started, too. What do you say we finish the interview over dinner somewhere? Oh, gosh. I, to tell you the truth, I was just gonna, you know, grab a sandwich and spend some time here tonight. It's a pretty big day for him tomorrow. I kind of felt I owed it to him. You owe it to yourself to relax. Look at you, you're all nuts. Now, what you need is a complete break. Mm. You're right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right, I'm nuts. OK. Good. It's a date. I'll pick you up around 8. Sure. Here's one of the pictures. Nice, eh? Yeah. See you later. Good. I get the feeling you're not as impressed with him as I am. He's gorgeous. Nine two seven two three five, please. Thank you, Mr. Thornton. It's me, James. Everything's copacetic so far. No, not yet, but I have clear photos. I know, sir. Don't worry. It'll be a cinch. Yeah. No. No, don't worry. I'm going to place the bet myself right before the race. Thank you, sir. OK. Bye-bye. dropped it somewhere. Well, never mind. I'll see him over dinner and I'll give it back to him, okay? I'll be sure to ask if there's a reward. I gotta go. I'm in a rush. I'll see you, okay? Bye. Here's the brown dye for the leg. Couldn't be easier. The markings are real clear. It's gotta be perfect. Look, we took care of the identification tattoo in the lip, didn't we? This die will be a snap. Well, in that case, gentlemen, I'll leave you to it. My date is waiting.
this one here a minute. I'll go get Magic Man from the stall. Okay. Keep it down. Hi, boy. How are you? Magic man, meet your dead ringer. <laughs> Even your lady jockey won't know the difference. Gee, I guess it's too late to say goodnight to Magic Man. Well, he'll be asleep by now. So should you be. Oh, I feel terrific. You are terrific. Can I see you tomorrow before the race? Sure. How about a coffee? Can't wait. This is too long. There you go, boy. <laughs> hey, you left the other door open. Shut that one, too. Oh, oh, National velvet out of the way. Yeah, it's about always good for. Her. Wait, I haven't seen Magic Man. Joey's acting really strange. And I'm not. Of course you're not. All you have to do is beat the second favorite, Dizzy Blonde, and win. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> Let's not speak too soon. I'm superstitious. My lips are sealed. Anyway, I should get going. I'm gonna get there before they close the wickets. I'm putting all my chips on you, kid. Good luck, Sal. Thanks. for the Silver Stakes race in the paddock. Oh, it's no use, sir. We're gonna have to scratch. No way, Joe. I'm running this race if it's the last thing I do. All right, if you think we can do it. All ten should now be in the paddock. Please prepare your horses to be reviewed. this morning <laughs> just gonna seem like magic man has lost his magic touch <laughs> Come 
Come on. Come on, come on settle down. Jimmy, get it's a good okay. hold on. It's okay. Don't be it. nervous. Honey, just calm down. down. Just get him just back. Calm down. I got it. Magic. Magic, All honey, right. please. I didn't know that Magic Man had such stage fright. Take a hike, Paul. I will. On, right to That's the winner's circle. Magic man. Where'd you get him? Where did he come from? Hey, Jimmy. Give me the saddlecloth. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jim. It's two minutes to post time. Let's go. We got a race to run. Maybe they decided to scratch. You better not, it'll blow the odds. <laughs> I'm gonna win this one for you, boy, if I can. He hasn't even been watched yet, Joe. I don't know if we can do it. Just go for it, Sal. Now, we'll keep a lid on a dead ringer until the race is over. Now, let's go, kid. Good luck. We'll see you after the race. Number one, Magic Man is not at the starting gate, but there's been no official announcement of the horse being scratched. There he is. Just sit back and watch Magic Man disappear. It's one minute to post time. The horses have now reached the starting point. center of the track with Venus Genie coming to challenge for the lead. Dizzy Blonde and Carrie Lady both moving up on the outside. That's Dizzy Blonde coming on to take over the lead. Carrie Lady is now second. Venus Genie is third as Magic Man and Bronze Boy move up together along the rail. Bronze Boy showing the way along the inside and Dizzy Blonde coming to challenge for the lead on the outside. Dizzy Blonde coming on to take the lead now by a length. Bronze Boy is second and Marion B now closing up quickly to be third. And turning into the stretch, Dizzy Blonde leading by a and a half. Bronze Boy second on the rail and now Magic Man moves up quickly on the outside to challenge for the lead. What's going on? Be coming on so fast. Bronze Boy third on the inside. And as they come down to the finish line, it's going to be close. Magic Man and Dizzy Blonde, they're head to head. It's too close to call. A photo finish. Now uh, what? We go down for the decision. It's not over yet. I know we won it for sure. It's not over yet. Let's go. Fella? Boy. 
Hey, Sal, I think you might have just done it. <sighs> sure hope so. Oh, what's that? What Your you guess is as good as mine. Whoa. So it was you. You engineered the whole thing. Now, now look, Sally, let me explain it. Stop what you think. Sally, Sally! Down, down, what's down? Sally! I think you better just stick around. Magic Man has been declared the winner of the race. Magic Man is the winner of the Silver Stakes. Owner, Lauren Perry. Trainer, Joe McLaughlin. Jockey, Sally Peters. I told you not to get soft on the lady. Now, I think Mr. Thornton is going to want to have a short talk with you. Yeah, I think that Mr. Thornton isn't going to be talking to anybody but his lawyer. We've been watching you gentlemen for a long time. What are you talking about? Let's go. It's not your fault, I know it is. You did it, kid. You're a real winner. No, Joe. There's the real winner. I think she's just lucky, Joe. Oh, come on now. I mean, you have to admit, she rode one sensational race. Yeah, it was above average, considering she was on a cold horse. Oh, come on. I could have won on any horse. Hey, don't push your luck, Sal. Just kidding. If I'd be on the lookalike, I'd still be going around the track. <laughs> Thank goodness our friend here spotted the switch. I hope you're going to keep him around the stables. We could use someone with a little uh, horse sense around here. Nothing's going to make him stay if he doesn't want to. Come on, boy. We'll give you a nice home. Forget it, Paul. He's just not the kind of guy who sticks around. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow the whole world is my home 